Hey guys, how's it going? Hey. Hey. Morning. Morning. Uh, so uh, my question is going to be for uh, Yan Yan, Chin Han, and Ben. Uh, I kind of want to ask you guys about the family dynamic with uh, 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 with you guys on screen. Like, how did you guys uh, be able to work that out? Like, what what was that process like? Um, I think at one point I just in real life I just showed up at Yan Yan's house. <laughs> And then she cooked dinner for for me for me and I think Chin Han showed up too. So and then we just took that and really? transplanted it and put it on set. Right? <laughs> I feel like our dynamic <laughs> It wasn't yes, we, a solid we full method on this, right? So yeah. we uh when we weren't shooting, we were spending time together, uh going for meals. I think we went for uh, a baseball game yen yen would go shopping with them and uh yeah you know it was it was literally like a, literally like a real family and uh and it, it was it was quite special you know being able to have all this time uh with your co-stars because normally on a on a film or a tv set you know you're you're uh isolated isolated or hiding out in your trailer or you know going home after work but uh we literally spend all the time together uh it was like summer camp for us right? <laughs> yeah and that that expands out to just beyond the family too i feel like the whole like everybody in, team. in involved with this production it really felt like one big community one big family and that i think shows in the final product. You, you should have a look at our childhood photo, Ben and my childhood photo. We actually look so much alike. We, no, it's true. Ben Whoever did you know? Oh my god. <laughs> we both was was like shocked that how much we look yeah. alike as a child. Yeah, yeah, we put our like baby photos like next to each other and we just look like the same person. I can't tell you guys apart. Like, <laughs> yeah. And now I'm worried. <laughs> we we'll always talk about how how much we thank uh, our casting people. They really yeah. like brought us the family that like long lost family together. We did an experiment actually. Uh, we we spliced the top of uh, the top of my face and put it alongside Ben's face, and we had the same eyes. And yeah. we took the second half of Ben's face, and the and and. And alongside Yen Yen's face, and yeah. they look completely the same, right? So, yeah. so he has the top of my face and the bottom of Yen Yen's face, which makes for like a the perfect face, really. How did you do that, casting? Love I'll you. Say. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Next up, we have the fresh pair of eyes. Hi, I'm Ariana. I met some of you guys at South by Southwest, so it's great to see you again. Yeah. My question is for all of you. The show is a lot about how high school is just so awkward. What was your high school experience like? Well, uh, <laughs> I was homeschooled, so I was awkward on my own. But I got to experience my awkward high school years with Ben, and now all of you get to yeah. see how... Yeah, horrifically got, awkward it is she got to run the simulator basically yeah. <laughs> and i got to do the time machine um no i went yes. to i went to high school i went to public high school and i was still i was also awkward on my own Perfect. and with others so it was it was just it's what you see is kind of what it was um, i was awkward in middle school if that counts it all counts it all counts rough time yeah. middle school my high school yeah. was in malaysia and i am one big um sports gig i am always on the field running or i'm in the sea windsurfing that's what i do in high school <laughs> <laughs> i was in sports so that was a lot of fun but that didn't spare me from any awkwardness uh i think that's the reason why i took up swimming because that's also something you can do on your own and you know swim back and forth uh it was only until a, a little later i think that that i i did theater and that helped me kind of uh regulate my uh, my oh, awkwardness <laughs> in school <laughs> i always wished i had a you know the the i, I wish i was part of a bigger group like a famous 5 or the secret 7 or the hardy boys 
right? So <laughs> you wanted to um, solve oh. mysteries and <laughs> yeah, and yeah the old my books. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, awesome. No, thank you. <laughs> Next up, we have Rich Girl Network TV. Hey, great show, everyone. This question is for Ben. Ben, you're playing this teen in the show and lots of kids and everybody's going to watch this. What do you, would you want, it's a fun show, but what would you want a teen to learn about your character? What would you want them to take away watching you perform and being in the show? What would that be for you? Um, well, I mean, it's a fun show. And I think for, first and foremost, for any viewer, what I want is for them to be entertained, for them to fall in love with these characters, um, the same way that I did when I first read the script. These are really fantastically written characters. And I think people watch there's all these deep themes and um, important topics that the show touches. I think if people are watching and having fun, those things are going to get naturally absorbed. Um, so first and foremost, I hope people enjoy it. And for Jin, um, I, for me as an actor, it was important that show this character having a sort of arc this season um, where he really develops and grows as a human being. And I I hope that, you know, um, younger people watching and, and especially people who grew up in the same way that I did. Um, I was growing up in a small town in Minnesota. Um, it's like a trope. I shout out Minnesota every time I do one of these interviews. Go Minnesota, greatest state in the union. Um, but I was one of the only Asian kids in my school about my experiences. And um, I hope that if there's a kid out there like me, um, who's also, you know, feeling like, oh, this is a show for outsiders. This is a show for um, kids who don't feel like they necessarily fit in or, or are trying very hard. Um, and I hope that they can sort of see this character and, and, and see it as sort of um, an interface for themselves and the character grow. Maybe they can find some hope for themselves too. Great, thanks so much. Really loved your show, thanks. Next up is US News Express. Hello, hi, um, my question is for Chin Han and Yan Yan. Uh, so the pa parents, the characters are also very relatable. Um, can you talk about it from your point of view, how, oh, what part you find most relatable to those characters? Like, especially, um, you know, for Asians, sometimes they, tend to be silent and not speaking up for themselves. Thanks. Yes, I, I think that was one of the things that drew me to the show. Um, you know, it it very accurately uh, portrayed the the Asian work ethic, uh, which is uh, work hard, uh, you know, keep going. Uh, someone will recognize you. And at some point in time, all the hard work will pay off. As for you know, being a parent, uh, you you know you have to you have to be strict. You have to be you know scheduled and 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 have structure. I see that all the time, you know, with with the friends around me who have children. But what you don't see is you know all the love, uh, you know all the love that 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 happens within a family and all the struggles too, you know, and all the uh, uh, all the conversations that couples have about, you know, what their futures are going to be. And I think we do this quite uh, honestly, and I think quite candidly in this movie. Sometimes it's a, a bit uh, uh, uncomfortable to watch because it's so true to life. But I think uh, working with Yen Yen and, you know, we spend a lot of time going through the dialogue, going through the scenes, going through the stories to make sure that we find a a language that is uh, authentic, you know, and relationships that that are true that people can see themselves in. I think I think it's 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 really rewarding when whenever we we cut we finish a scene and our showrunner or people on a set come over and said you transported us just now you transported us to a childhood mm -hmm. at that moment of time when you two were talking so that is something. I it you know is very very rewarding for me and and I hope the audience will relate to it very very much. Thank you. Thank next you. Up, next up is Disney Examiner. Hi everybody. Good morning. Um, 
I wanted to ask, oh, it's a question for all of you, really, because I think you all had the pleasure of working with Destin Cretton um, on your episodes. What is it like working with someone like him um, and the other team of directors that you guys got to work with that um, just have a unique uh, view on uh, Asian American living? Fantastic. Um, Destin's great. He's very tall, so you trust him inherently as a director. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I love him. He made me so nervous. Oh my God, he made me so nervous. He's really hard to read. Well, I found he was <laughs> maybe a little bit, but he's 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 like a very um he's a very stoic. I feel like guy, especially yeah. on set when he's working, you know. But he, he's also very chill. So um, but it, it I I felt very working with him and honestly with every single director, you felt like you were in good hands. You were yeah. you felt like you were in the hands of people who really cared about. Um, telling a good story, having fun, and also portraying, like you said, all of these specificities to um, the Asian American experience um, in a very authentic way. And that that was really bolstered by the fact that we, our entire sort of, um, every single department was, um, had someone in there from that, a specific background that would understand the specificities of, of these things. And it was, it was to the point where you know, it, I, we, you'd walk into the fake house that they built for us and you see these tiny details that <laughs> that only someone who lived in a house, really, really grew up in a house like this would know about, you know, the ro song on the cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> like nobody, like the, the little jellies in a jar above the fridge. Who's who knows about that other than <laughs> other than someone who had to stare at it for their entire childhood. Um, and so <laughs> it's really. It felt really good, and it was very helpful for us as actors to to transport us to that specific place to have those um, those those in, those incrementally small details around us that you can't even perceive. Um, so yeah. Um, I mean, working with Destin, I the first time, the very first day for me on set, he actually spent so much time for for me and Ben to find a character and that's the first scene you see when both of us appear in the whole series I was ever so grateful that he actually spent that time because because I was here and no everybody's so busy with preparing the, the the shoot the filming and and no one talked to me and I was so nervous I was panicky in finding the character I haven't seen my son I haven't seen Jin I haven't seen Ben for a while so when we went on set, he just take the time for us to explore. I think the exploration on the day it really set down the character, and and I and I'm ever so grateful to have a director like Dustin to to come in and do such detail work with me. You know, I am very very grateful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I think that first scene took about like five hours. Five hours. Yes, way longer than any other scene we ever shot past that. But he, you know, he knew that we needed that time. To yeah, I remember I was there that day in my trailer and I just asked him to drive me over because I was bored and I wanted to watch. Yeah. So I just had them drive me over so I could actually sit there and see what everyone was doing. That's right, because she yeah. had the next scene. Up yeah, right that after was the that. following so she scene. Was there for five hours. Sorry, Sydney. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun watching. Yeah, he's very, uh, he loves the process of acting and and in turn uh, loves actors and you can feel it, you know, I mean, he gives us the time to explore, which is the greatest gift a, a director could, could, could have on top of the fact that he does wear killer Hawaiian shirts that puts everyone at ease and makes us feel uh, so comfortable in his presence it was quite a delight and also you know working with people like lucy liu who is an actress herself mm -hmm. so understands the process and understands what we go through uh she speaks our language as well so you know having a director like that uh really just uh allows us to you know be fully expressed really mm -hmm.